This video is sponsored by Hollywood Health and Society. I want to talk to you today about Deadpool. You see, it's... Oh no, Deadpool, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I was referring to a different thing. Hey buddy, you can stay in the video, but just don't break the fourth wall, okay? It's really expensive to fix. And he broke it. Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Deadpool isn't just the name of a fictional wisecracking anti-hero. It's the term for a very real and serious reduction in key water supply for 40 million people in the United States. It's a pretty big deal. About 70% of the nation's fresh water comes from surface water sources like rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. In some regions, dams are used to collect water along a river, forming a reservoir that can be slowly released to supply water and hydropower to the surrounding communities. A deadpool occurs when the water level in a reservoir is so low that it can no longer flow downstream from the dam's normal outlets, affecting available water supply and production of hydroelectric power. And as you guessed, no water equal bad. So far, most of the nation's larger reservoirs have avoided this status, but two of the largest ones in the country, Lake Powell and Lake Mead, are close. Too close for anyone's comfort. These two reservoirs are part of the Colorado River and supply water and electricity to over 40 million people in California, Nevada, and Arizona. But the water levels of both have been dropping faster than originally predicted. They are both currently about 150 feet above the Deadpool. And at this rate, Lake Mead could drop to Deadpool levels by 2025, and Lake Powell could soon follow. Luckily, California's extremely wet winter in 2023, with record-breaking rain and snow levels, has brought some relief and reduced this probability. The drop in water supply is largely attributed to a hotter, drier climate and the effects of a multi-year drought. But it's also the result of our increased demand for water. So what does this all mean? Well, it means there's some things you can do to help. By finding ways to use less water at home, you can alleviate some of the burdens put on these water systems. Your boy Blocko has a few tips when it comes to this woeful waning water worry. In your yard, replace it with water-wise or native plants. Use mulch and install drip irrigation. In your house, you can take shorter showers, turn the water off while brushing your teeth and shaving, fix leaks, and install aerators. You can also reuse water like from your shower or ice from your drink to water plants. Good job, buddy. A uh, little over the top, but your heart's in the right place. So my question to you, the amazing person watching this, what's the biggest issue facing where you live? Hurricanes? Floods? Bad traffic that turns people into feral goblins? The issue could be in your town, your state, or region of the world. For the life noggin world, we get tattoo tornadoes. As you can see, Triangle Bob got caught up in one pretty bad. Answer in the comments below and maybe we can make a video about it. For more ideas on ways to cut back on water use, check out saveourwater.com. And thank you so much to Hollywood Health and Society for making this video possible. If you want to learn more about the incredible work that they do to educate the public and help support the causes they're fighting for, click the first link in the description to learn more. Click here to watch this video we did on only eating fried food, or click here to watch this video. Thank you so much to Lifespan.io, the team that powers Life Noggin. Check them out down in the description. And as always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.